I'm Saira and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I would like to talk all about a new learning which is the audiovisual aids. Come and let's begin! So guys, what is the audiovisual aids? According to the Kinder, audiovisual aids are any device which can be used to make the learning more effective, more concrete, more realistic, and more dynamic. In the audiovisual aids, there are objectives. First is to increase the effectiveness of the teaching. Second one is to hold the attention span of the learning for the duration of instruction. And the last is to save time. In the audiovisual aids, these are words that we develop of. We learn and we retain. In the learning and retaining, these are the percentage that we get it on. 10% for what we read. 20% for what we hear, 30% for what we see, and the total percent of our what we hear and see is 50%. Higher level of retention can be achieved through active involvement in learning. In the teaching aids, there are 15 categories of educational significance. First is use of all sense organs is based on maximum attention, helpful in drawing, a good motivating force, a good substitute for direct experience, provide clarity in subject matter, helps in fixing up new learning, meet the individual difference requirements, facilitates quick comprehension and retention of concepts, encourage healthy classroom interaction, helps positive transfer of learning, solve the problem of verbalism, reduce meaningless words, quicken the pace of learning, last is overcome the possible hurdlers during teaching. In the teaching aids, they have characteristics. First one is to accurate, simple and cheap and motivate the learners, meaningful and purposeful, improvise, large in size, comprehensibility, Interesting, cost effective, availability, transportability, appropriateness, and the last one is relevance. The problems or limitation in the use of audiovisual aids is first is the apathy of teachers. A vast majority of teachers still prefer to use the chalk talk method through which they were taught, hence, they are generally change resistant. Second is indifference of students. Judicious use of teaching aids will arouse interest, but sometimes it could enhance boredom and indifference at times. The third is financial problems. The one time investment in these aids is costly and may not be affordable by all schools. Four is the absence of infrastructure, lack of basic facilities like classroom, electricity, projectors, chart stands, laboratory rooms to keep models, posters, and etc. Last is language barriers. Most software is in English like films, CD, audio cassettes, hence not suitable to regional medium schools. These are the classification of visual aids. The first one is the traditional type of classification. In the traditional type of classification, there are three branches below, which is audio aids, visual aids, and audio visual aids. These are the samples about the three branches below. First is audio aids, radio and tape recorder, while visual aids, chalkboard and bulletin board, last, audio visual aids, lecture, demonstration, and television. 2. Based on the type of projection. In the type of projection, there are two branches below. First, projective aids and then projective aids. Number 3. Based on motion or movement. In the base of motion movement, they have divided into two, which is the static aids and dynamic aids. 4. Based on dimension of the object. It divides into two also, which is two and three-dimensional aids and 3D aids. Five, based on size of media, big media and little media. 
In big media, it includes computer and television, while on the little media, it includes radio and film stream. Last is based on the number of sense organs used into two types, which is unimodal and bimodal aids. Also, they could be classified as electronic and non-electronic. These are the steps about the audiovisual aids. First is the planning, preparation, presentation, and evaluation. And these are the principles. First, selection, preparation, physical control, presentation, response, and evaluation. These are the tips of the audiovisual aid. First one is to select the correct aid, prepare prior to instruction, be familiar with the equipment, know how to use the aid, make sure all students can see and hear the aid. Check for effect on the class, practice using different types of aids, be flexible, select an audiovisual aid that is appropriate for teaching the training, and the last one is the objective. And that's all for today guys. Thank you so much for watching my second educational vlog. Hope that you have more learnings for this video. And don't forget to click the like, subscribe, and share.